guys. So um, I got back the other day and wanted to connect my smart charger to my RS as I uh, often do if I'm not going to use it for a while and uh, unfortunately noticed that I couldn't get into my bonnet. Um, for those of you that don't know, the uh, bonnet latch issue is a pretty common Mark II focus issue. Uh, it affects all of the Mark II focuses including STs and RSs uh, but also just the regular focuses as well. Um, so Ford actually um, put the bonnet latch behind um, the Ford badge, the, or the bonnet lock, sorry, behind the Ford badge. Um, you pop your, pop your key in, turn it one side to pop it, and then turn it the other way to actually open the bonnet fully. Um, they designed it with this kind of anti-tamper mechanism, essentially, uh, where the, there's a little plastic cross piece, um, and that is actually designed if someone tries to break into the bonnet. Uh, to stop them doing so, uh, but more often than not it's the owner of the car that can't get in um, which obviously if you're trying to open your bonnet sometimes if you're broken down or you've got a problem uh, can be a bit of an issue. So um, obviously yeah, it happened to me the other day, um, I managed to break in fortunately relatively easily, um, have seen some horror stories with people having to damage their grills, dent their bonnets, all this kind of stuff. Um, fortunately on the RS I removed the Ford badge, uh, there's a couple of screws behind that and that comes off and there's actually a little hole to the left of that uh, in, the, in the upper grill there. So I was able to kind of poke a screwdriver through there, have a route around and sort of force the um, cross piece back into place. Um, so essentially on mine what had happened is that cross piece had dislodged and sort of come away from the bonnet latch side. So as you return your key, nothing was actually happening, um, but it wasn't fully broken, fortunately. So I was able to kind of force it back in and uh, open the bonnet again with it. Uh, I was then able to temporarily fix it um, and sort of source a replacement. So I was able to kind of reattach it for now. Um, but I was like kind of thinking it's going to go again at some point. So I need to sort something more permanent. There's various options out there, um, quite common for people to actually put like Mondeo latch kits on now and put a, a proper latch inside the glove box. Um, I wanted to try and keep it original ideally, I uh, didn't want to sort of do that, also they're quite a bit of money uh, to buy those kits. Um, so I actually found a place, a seller on eBay that had like an upgraded plastic cross piece to the bit that actually breaks um, and what they've done is kind of extended it um, so to kind of fill the space either side that the original doesn't have so the original as mentioned is designed to pop out if someone tries to to break in um, so the the cross piece that i've purchased is longer it seems a little bit kind of heavier duty as well um, a little bit more solid so hopefully that should you know last um, so yeah anyway decided to make a little video just to sort of show you guys um, how i fitted it etc and um, yeah here we are uh, Hope you like the video and shout if you've got any questions up. I'll also post a link in the comments um, for the sort of upgraded cross piece in case you want to grab one for yourself. So once you've managed to get into your bonnet, to uh, get to the bit that's likely broken, there's two 10mm bolts that you need to remove on the back of the latch. If you can just about see them around here. I'm just going to whip those out in a sec. There's also the alarm sensor that needs disconnecting. It's a little bit tricky to show you on the video, uh, but it's just literally underneath here. So you can just unplug that. There you go, pop it out of the way. This whole latch should now remove, like so. And you can, this, you can see the uh, offending item in there. So here's my original part. As you can say, as you can see, mine's not completely broken, um, but sort of tabs have kind of distorted and kind of worn away a little bit on this end, uh, particularly that one, I think. So um, yeah, they're just just not very good, really. They're obviously designed as a anti-theft device, but they end up 99% of the time preventing the actual owners from getting in. So absolutely brilliant. Um, you can probably see here the replacement that I've bought is a supposedly upgraded part, it's quite a bit longer 
So the theory behind that is that it fills all available space uh, within the mechanism. Currently, the original, as I mentioned, is designed as a sort of anti-theft thing. So if somebody tampers with it, it, it pops out. But yeah, as, as we've discussed, it kind of just stops the original, the actual owner of the car getting in, which is which is not great. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, replace the part with uh, with this one now. You can you can see here. Uh, where this part actually attaches into the latch. It just sits in there. So that's the replacement part bolted back in place. Uh, before you close the bonnet, absolutely recommend you test it. Let's get a little screwdriver, pop it in the latch, click it down. That's as if your bonnet's locked in place. Pop your key in, open it as normal, so turn it to the left. There you go, that's popped. Turn it to the right, bonnet's open. Just make sure that feels all right. It does feel a little bit stiff, to be honest, with the new part, but I guess it's it's filling up all the space there, so hopefully that'll be okay, time will tell. So there you go, guys. That was how I fixed the bonnet latch on my Focus RS Mark II. Hope you found that useful. If you've got any questions, feel free to pop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, I'll see you soon with another video.